why a low energy diet is probably not going to work for you long term. You see, there's something called the critical energy availability threshold. And this is the minimum amount of energy you need to keep some pretty important processes happening inside of your body. You see, the female body is not the same as the male body and men can get away typically with energy restriction and you know doing some sort of crazy diets but women in particular we're far more susceptible to particularly energy restriction because it has a very profound impact on our menstrual cycle as an example if you restrict your energy below your critical energy availability threshold for too long you can actually affect your luteinizing hormone pulsatility. Now our luteinizing hormone is the hormone that's responsible for ovulation and if you don't uh, have that pulsatility of this hormone it can completely affect your menstrual cycle and you can end up with something called amenorrhea which is an absence of menstrual cycle and that's just from energy restriction. You see our body uh, it's pretty clever it's paying attention to what you're doing and when you put yourself into an energy crisis where you have fallen below that critical energy availability threshold your body responds pretty quickly now for women one of the major functions of our body is to reproduce we are to to carry babies now if you're in an energy crisis if you're in this low energy state that is not an optimal way uh, or an optimal state to be in to grow a baby and so your body puts the brakes on and it stops you from being able to actually fall pregnant and conceive so you can actually affect your fertility by doing this for too long a period of time another thing that you're going to do is that you're going to cause your cortisol levels to go up cortisol is our stress hormone and what some women don't know about it is that it's very inflammatory but it also causes water retention. So you can be restricting your diet, you can be doing all this exercise, and both of those are creating this energy deficit, but a significant energy deficit or a severe energy deficit. And because you're retaining all this fluid, the scales might actually be going up and the fluid can actually be masking any effects of the diet and the exercise, and it can be really demoralizing. And what you might do then is go, well, this is not working and just go and eat whatever. And then the next day you might actually notice that your weight went down. This is called the whoosh effect. The whoosh effect is essentially when your cortisol levels drop because you stop restricting your diet so much. And then because the cortisol has gone down, all the water has then been released from your body. And so your weight comes down and all of a sudden there are your results. Another problem with restricting your energy for too long is that it's going to affect your thyroid function. Our thyroid plays a really important role in terms of our metabolism. And metabolism is all about energy. Energy in, energy out. And if you affect your thyroid function, or if you don't put enough energy in, your thyroid responds by slowing down your metabolism. And these effects with your cortisol, your thyroid, your luteinizing hormone, they can actually occur reasonably quickly. Some of the effects can occur within a matter of days. And if we do this long term, we've got even bigger problems. We're going to affect our muscle mass because, you know, your body recognizes that muscle mass is expensive. There's a lot of energy that has to go into maintaining muscle mass and it's not going to give you more if you're in an energy crisis. Other things that will occur is you're going to affect your bone mineral density. So you could potentially be losing bone mass and increasing your risk for osteoporosis at um, a later point in your life. And then on top of that, with the loss of your menstrual cycle, you can actually affect fertility later on in life. So the idea that we need to be, you know, restricting, restricting, restricting and eating less and moving more is not really the best public message. We should be saying eat better and move better. You see, we just need to train smarter, we need to do more weights to build more muscle, and we need to eat a diet that absolutely nourishes our body and should not be focusing on restriction, but more on how am I going to fuel my body optimally so that I can move. So in terms of how much you should be eating, well that critical energy availability threshold is 30 kilocalories per kilo of lean body mass. So for myself, I have 50 kilos approximately of lean body mass. I need to be eating a minimum of 1500 calories per day just to make sure that my body is working optimally and that's just at a minimum. So when you think about the dietary requirements or the dietary recommendations for all women to go on a 1200 calorie diet, you can see pretty, pretty clearly that this is not going to be a good recommendation for a huge percentage of the population. That is well and truly going to put you below that critical energy availability threshold and if you try and do it for too long, 
not only are you going to have all of those hormonal issues, but another significant problem is that you're going to get really hungry. And that matters. How are you going to stick to a diet if you're just starving all the time? So we do need to think about a way in which we are eating smarter, training smarter and getting a better result. So no more energy restriction, no more crazy diets, no more crazy cardio. And why not work with someone who actually knows about the female body, who knows about sensible ways to eat, who knows about weight training. I've spent 20 years in the health and fitness industry. I'm an exercise physiologist, I'm an exercise scientist and a nutritionist. I'm university qualified and I would love to help you. If you would like to get more information, if you would like to do a program that is actually design, has been designed by a woman for women, I would absolutely love to work with you. Just click on the link below and we'll get started.